Hey guys, how are we getting on? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today to have a watch. So today we're in one gym again. You will have seen from my previous video, the new gym that I'm training in. We're in for density day. So deadlift day, a lot of compound movements, really, really difficult session, um, but a lot of bang for your buck from it as well. You guys won't have seen this one before. It's very similar to the pull day that I did my first actually um, kind of exercise video or kind of walk through my, my plan on YouTube a couple of episodes ago. But now that we have more lower body volume across the week, we've added in a, in, instead of, of a pull day is, is now a density day. So there's more leg pressing and leg extension stuff in here. But I'll walk you through the session as a whole. So a little bit of an update on me. The last month has not been, you know, perfect as a whole. Got sick, um, picked up an injury, you know, had to run D volume rotate. It hasn't been an amazing month. And what I wanted to try to get across is these months happen, you know, it's not gonna be perfect plain sailing for the whole year, every year. We have to take them for what it is, try and maintain everything that you've done, keep quality of food high, you know, hydration status and recovery, and you'll always get back to where you were before and past it. But just note that it isn't always perfection and we're not looking for perfection. It's just about being consistently good over the long period of time. Coaching wise for me as well, I know I brought up in the last uh, YouTube video that had a couple of clients doing a photo shoot. All of them, all four of them absolutely killed it. They smashed it. Actually, we might try and stick up a couple of images maybe in the video. Don't know. Yeah, we'll give it, a, give it, our, give it our best shot if we can. Uh, they absolutely killed it. So I'm really happy about how the team are going at the moment. And that's pretty much it as an update for me. I'm sitting at about 86 on the nose this morning. Um, kilo, so a little bit up. Food is in a good place. Body composition, a good place. And just all about performance in here now. So. Let's get into it. Set one, bring the deadlift bar down. So actually something I learned the other day was, this is a, as you guys can see, a deadlift bar, which is different than a, the other one here they have is a power bar, so it's slightly longer in length, <laughs> in distance. So we can have a little bit of a curvature in the bar, tiny bit, to allow to take the slack out of the bar and almost to get you into position before you start the pull, which hopefully, I, don't, I won't be using enough weight today for you to be able to see that, unfortunately. Maybe one day, in a couple of months, we'll get there. Okay, exercise number one of the day is just gonna be a barbell deadlift from the floor. You guys have never seen this before. I haven't done this, honestly, in a rotation since I was probably about 16, okay, 12 years ago. The reason for it, I could just never get it. I just never really understood the moving pattern, but rotated in, had really, really good help from one of the guys in here. Um, so if you're watching this, appreciate you. Um, and we're, we're rotating it in now to try and progress over time. So still in that kind of skill acquisition period, we're gonna try to just get better at the skill of doing it before we really, really maximally load. So we're gonna get into it today. So one thing I've tried to do over the last couple of weeks was I got loads of help from Jacob, which I really, really appreciate you if you are watching this, about how to execute deadlift. He's a master at deadlifting. And what I do right before my deadlift the last couple of weeks is just watch over the clip again and I can actually hear him, I'll watch again. I can actually hear him cueing me in my earphones, hips down, eyes up, brace, press, hips through. And it's just kind of a reiteration then of the, of the cues that I need to be thinking about right before I go into my top set.
Okay, so exercise number two is going to be barbell bent to a row. This is directly after deadlift. So erectors and upper mid back discs are ordering a little bit fatigued. So you have to be wary of loading, but if you want to build a big back, big thick dense back, deadlifts and bent over rows, you can't go wrong. Okay, so two bang for a book movement patterns for kind of mid and erectors of the back, mid back, upper back and erectors. This is going to be two lat dominant movements now. It's going to be an over and underhand unilateral pull down here. You've seen me do variations of this before, but I'll show you how it works now. You know what, I've, al I've always wanted this piece yeah. in the gym, but you know the one in Club Lime used to be an overhand? Yeah and that pulls the elbow down. And if you guys revert back to my pull video, which you should have watched already, we need to be keeping the elbow inwards and directed to the hip. And this hand position here actually allows us to do that, which is really, really nice. It'll feel. Two reps aside. plus one there on the left anyway, let's try and replicate on the right. So that's, uh, other than my, my deadlifts, my first set of deadlifts was a, we match reps, but definitely better execution without a shadow of a doubt. Jacob, I'll be sending that over to you today, see what you think. But everything else so far has been a PB, which is great. Oh yeah. Uh, two. Oh, oh my God. Oh. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, exercise number four then is gonna be a, an MTS row, which is like a horizontal row. Um, in the programming, you'll see a, always a pull down, so a vertical row, and also a horizontal row, which I think is a good, a good way of having a mix of the two in your pull day programming. Ugh. 
Oh, yeah. Okay, another PB. Oh shit. So I actually got asked in a check-in today, funny enough. If I make a load progression, I, I've gone from 80 to 90 kilos here. I assume I should do not do less. I, I should do less reps. I shouldn't be able to get the same amount. If I went into that set with that mindset, there's no way I would have got 12. Last week I got 80 for 12 progression. Okay, this week I got 90 for 12. So don't limit your beliefs by just saying I've gone up in load. I can't get 12 reps. I should only get about eight. Have the mindset you're going to get 12. You might come up short but trying to limit yourself before you've even gone into the set or you've already lost. Oh yeah. Big progressions there, we'll take that. Shit. Okay, 90 for 12. So two progressions good so albeit that I'm warmed up it's been all pull so a lot of posterior work we haven't done any kind of quad work at all so I'll just especially as you guys know I have a lot of knee injuries over the years I will do a couple sets of leg extension just to drive some blood into there before I go into my top set over there again just warming up that knee joint sometimes I'll even put some tiger bam on my knee which I know we've touched on before as well in a previous video. Um, and then also some knee sleeves and stuff like that. Hell though. It's good though. Push. Okay, exercise number five is going to be moving on to quads as discussed. So hammer strength, pendulum press, hip press, whatever they'd like to call it. Um, I have a little bit of a change in setup for me. Again, remember that all machines aren't going to fit you individually, so you have to make the machine fit you. If I just did this without this pad, I'd probably pull my lower back in an injury because my hips shoot off the pad. So I bring myself up a little bit and the machine lines up perfectly to me then. And we're gonna run one high rep set first, 15 to 20, and then a heavier working set, number two, okay? Oh.
fuck you. Oh, you bastard. Fuck. Oh, Lord. Fuck, that's a bitch. Excuse my language again. Oh, shit. Oh, oh shit, man. It's honestly so hard, that set. Hard sets equals excellent physiques. Okay. Feels crazy to do this, but we're gonna have one more plate on for our top set then. Yeah, okay. The difference between this and just a normal leg press, you'll see as the pendulum, as you come through the movement, okay, as you press away, the weight becomes heavier and heavier and heavier. So as you're pressing, it's getting harder. So the shortened position is really heavy and the length and position is a little easier. So it kind of almost tricks you. Oh shit, you know, I have another rep here. You press it halfway and then it gets really, really difficult. But it's a beautiful, beautiful machine. If you guys have this in your uh, gym, definitely give it a crack. Oh, here we go. Just says hammer strength, leg press, pendulum press, hip press, something like that. One, come on, PB, come on. One more. No, fuck, I had nothing. Fuck. It's always a nice feeling on something like this. Right now, there's no injury going to be caused here from the machine itself. Fucking hell. So you can go to, until you can't go anymore. Barbell on your back, go for a back squat. Probably not a great idea. So pick and choose your machines to go to failure. Oh, fuck. Okay, so next exercise for quads is gonna be a quadruple rest pause. It is horrendous. I don't advise anyone to try this at home, but it's gonna be a quadruple drop set, like I said. So we're gonna use a rest pause set. The same load for all sets I'm gonna hit close to 20 reps, so I have 20, 27, six, and then eight for the last one. So three sets normal, as many reps as possible with 25 seconds in between. And then the last one, I won't be able to get it short at all. So I'm just gonna work the, the kind of the partial length and range for about eight reps or so, okay? And I'll try and make them as perfect as I can, but understand that this is a quadruple rest ball set. It's not gonna be perfect. Okay, nice little tip as well for leg, leg extensions. This is just wrap yourself in here, strap yourself in with a band. To create a little bit more stability. Boy. And over. Okay. Hear that okay? Yeah? Okay, so first set. Oh, 25 seconds. I only got 18 there. I find if I progress that over there, I almost inevitably drop reps over here. Four, 
three. Just an arm wrap, as many reps as possible. So as you can see, I'm only getting four or five. I can't get it any short, shorter. So you'll just see me work in the partial, like the half, first half of the rep. That's all I have left for as many reps. Oh, fuck. Okay, last one, Josh. Quads done. Hard to get in up for it, but to finish off with a little bit of biceps, just two exercises and then done. So one of two bicep movements is gonna be this high elbow, what would you call MTS bicep curl, like a high elbow curl working in that short range. It's a really, really nice piece of kit. And the alignment, I would not I wouldn't do it bilaterally with two arms. I would do it single arm like I'm gonna show you now. So elbows kept high, seats down for us to get full extension, drive the elbow down into the pad. Contra curl and contract, really slow on the release. Another PB to add to the list. Okay, power of the logbook. I would usually do 60, drop to 50, but it told me last week I only dropped, got seven when I dropped to 50. So I'm just gonna drop that into 40 and make it a little bit better quality. <sighs> Beaten up today. <laughs> Beaten up today. <clears throat> oh, you bastard. Fuck. Final one today is going to be a preacher curl, and you will see that on that exercise that we just did, it's pretty easy there, okay, in layman's terms, in the length and range. But when you get to there, it gets really, really difficult. This one is the other way around. So you're kind of pairing them up cleverly so that it's really difficult and stretched. But as you curl, it gets a little bit easier. Okay, 
I'm just going to go for this set now because I'm in. Okay. I'm not wasting a rep today. So you might have seen there that I do my left arm, I got six and then a guided seventh. My right arm, I just got seven without any guidance. My right arm is bigger and much stronger than my left, hence why I do it second, but I just match my reps. I think that's a misconception that you do. If I did 12 reps on my right and seven on my left, it's just gonna keep getting better and better and better, or try and match the two always together. This looks hilarious, five kilos, but honestly, get into the stretch. Yeah, it's actually too light. Let's go with the 10. I think the 10 is probably a bit too heavy. Five's too light. Rather go too heavy than too light, eh? two extras on this. Let's get out of here. Guys, I'm going to leave that there. Thank you so much for taking the time to jump on and watch. Hopefully you guys have found this valuable. I actually love to get a little bit of insight of you guys just like being a fly in the wall kind of raw workout style or do you really enjoy the kind of the informative part of the content or a little bit of a mix, mix of both. So please do comment below and whatever you guys want to see is what I'm going to try and produce for you guys. Um, so as always, thank you so much for, for jumping on um, and having watched today. Please give this video a like and comment please and also make sure you subscribe to the channel we're almost at 400 subscribers which is excellent and really really helps the channel to go so i really appreciate it other than that guys have a great day and chat to you in the next one